Okay, so we're here with a really hot take, really quick video. Uh, Bitmain yesterday afternoon-ish, yep. evening? Yep, July 31st. Yep. Conveniently right after most coupons expired. Very conveniently. Oh, I'm sure that's a coincidence. <laughs> uh, announced the S9J 14.5 terahash amp miner. Um, 14.5. Yep. Uh, the quick specs is the hash rate is expected to be 14.5 tera hash, plus or minus about 5%. Uh, the power requirement is 1,650 watts, which mm. is much higher than the S914. Mm. Uh, clarification, it looks like the power requirement is 1,350 watts, but they recommend a 1,650-watt PSU. Why? Um, wiggle room? I don't know. Margin of error? Um, it says plus or minus 10% on the 1,350 watts, which is pretty much normal because they're trying to account for uh, how long your wire run is, how thick your wires are, um, you know, uh, the ambient temperature, all of those things affect, you know, the efficiency of the power supply. So a lot of people don't realize when they run like a 50 foot extension cord that they're actually adding a lot of resistance to the, to the actual power. To Just by dint of the additional medium. Right. Yeah. And that actually increases the power draw. So, um, typically when you are trying to make it as efficient as possible, you want really thick, short runs for, uh, Thick and short. <laughs> Got my name all over it. It's named my memoir. Um, additionally, uh, the ship date is expected uh, to be between August 11th and 20th. So just a couple short weeks away. So I know we'll be doing a video once ours comes in talking oh, about oh, it. Boy, will we ever. Um, so you can expect that. <laughs> Unboxing the next video week so, so hard. Yeah. <laughs> We we'll also um, have them on Amazon and CryptoCrane.com. Yep. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, we do yeah. sell them. For, That's true. Yeah. Yep. Um, so, as mentioned before, released literally moments slash hours after the most coupons expired. Um, and the increased power consumption, which maybe the APW7 changeover was a requirement for this to be... No, yeah, wait a second. Rating. Once upon a time... We may have collectively theorized that the entire reason Fitme was getting rid of the APW3++ in favor of a seemingly less efficient, unless you were running something that required a whole heck of a lot more power, power supply, was because they were about to potentially release something that necessitated such an, an, an increase in power consumption. Now, 1650 watts, 1350 watts, whatever it is, that's not that much more but it, it looks i don't know this is really interesting i, I feel like the, the power difference is marginal i mean it's about as efficient as the 14.0 s9i so mm -hmm. uh, maybe marginally more efficient um but within the margin of error that they're giving it may not be any more efficient it looks like they're just upping the clock speeds a little bit from the yeah. from the 14 slight overclock right much so uh i mean <laughs> Maybe they're starting to feel the pinch of some competition. That's that's what I'm thinking here. Um, that could very well be. Right. So, <laughs> I don't know. I, I still think that uh, there's a lot more wiggle room that they, they would have if they dropped to a, a smaller chip size. Uh, you know, they're still at the 16 nanometer chips, which they've been in since 2014, 15, you know? Uh, yeah. <laughs> 2016, sure. Probably, yeah. Um, so, it's... You know, there's the second that Bitmain drops to something like 10 nanometer, um, I think we'll see some actual, you know, really attractive looking Bitcoin miners. But that could be a year away. Like nobody knows. You know, so that's. I feel like this is just kind of like another uh, band aid. You know, that they're trying to throw at the sure. competition. You know, trying trying to knock anyone else out who you know could be potentially steer, stealing market share right now. Try to increase some revenue too before their IPO later this year. Good point. Yeah, that's a very good point. Yeah. So we should Pump expect to see the S9, what, J? Nope, this is the J. Next will be K. No, no, it'll be the S9 IJ. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> An IJ. I haven't seen one of those in years. You gotta ask, you can't afford it. All right. Is there anything else I want to mention about this, or is that pretty much the quick hot take? Looks like the same form factor. Yep. Yeah. A um, little bit faster, a little bit more power. Yep. Yep. Overclocked S9 i 14 terahash confirmed. I bet it's loud. Yeah, I bet it's very loud. Yes. Yep. You'll see our more in-depth review when it comes out as soon as we receive ours. Like I said, 
expect that probably in the next two weeks. Uh, but I think that's going to be it for this quick hot take of the S9 uh, 14.5J. I wonder if there's something we can do to make these quieter. Maybe. Mm. Maybe. Mm. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. <laughs> That'll be it from us. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook. That was foreshadowing, by the way. What was foreshadowing? Uh, Facebook, Twitter, uh, email us at mail at cryptocrane.com if you have any questions, concerns. Follow our videos on youtube.com slash cryptocrane. In addition to listening to our podcast on Google Play Music, iTunes, SoundCloud, and uh, Pocket Cast. I think it'll be it from us. Thank you very much.